We talk all the time on here about needless comments, okay? About comments that don't mean anything. And I want to give you some examples. You see everyone talk about this idea of like set timer. And then it's like timer.start, right? Like everyone talks about this. They're like, you don't need that comment. And something that we personally talk about a lot, I feel like, is a similar but disjoint idea. And by the way, as a general precursor to this topic, if you have not seen Code Aesthetic's video called Don't Write Comments, please give it a watch. It's a great video. It's going to explain the basics of this concept in a way that is like beautiful and elegant and so straightforward. So this is sort of like what I'm going to call Don't Write Comments Part 2. Here's, I think, how we end up straying from God, okay, is everyone loves to have nice little hovers in their, in their VS code, right? Everyone's out here. Like, I want to make sure that when you hover over my code, you get something that looks pretty. You hover over this and you get a nice little hover that's like, Set timer duration in seconds. Do we like need that? You know, like we kind of know that that's what this does, right? Like, I feel like this does not add context. Okay. So, this is something that we've seen me talk about a lot about doc strings. And I'm guilty of this too, because sometimes it feels easier to just write the doc string. Okay. Like, it feels like a nice, simple, conformist take to simply write the doc string. We have user ID. Discord user ID to give a mo good morning greeting to. Okay, great. We've got user ID in point accrual as well. Discord user ID to give points to, right? Oh, and look, this is the point. We have just stumbled accidentally on the point, okay? Withdraw points. Discord user ID to give points to. Why? Because I copy and pasted it from wherever give points is. Yeah, deposit points. I copy and pasted the documentation because it doesn't mean anything. It's not like something that I had to actively think about to write. You know, it's so surface level and including it at a in a way that is like this superfluous you are bound to make these mistakes. There are certainly things that I think we can agree where if I have a user class that has a set name, this, I think we can all agree, does not need a doc string. So let's look at some good doc strings, okay? So I think first and foremost, the thing that we can look at here is what they communicate to us from Discord Pi when we send messages, okay? Now, they're going to have some of these sort of lame doc strings too, right? Uh, the content of the message to send. But they have some really useful ones as well. A list of embeds to send with the content. Okay, I don't really know what an embed is, but I have a link to a type. So that's going to elaborate that for me. Great. Maximum of 10. This is additional context that I would not know if it weren't for the doc string. I would just stumble across this behavior. This cannot be mixed with the embed parameter. I wouldn't know that. I mean, I would probably assume, but it's good to have. It's additional context. You can't work that into the name. What are you going to call it? Embeds underscore cannot underscore be underscore used underscore with underscore embed. That would be insane. Allowed mentions. Controls the mentions being processed in the image, in this message. Gives you an extra link to more context on what this does, okay? Gives you documentation about why various exceptions would be thrown, right? Type error. It, again, elaborates on this idea of things that cannot be used together. It's adding context. I can see that it might throw a type error, but I can't tell know why in the context without this doc string. The next example of this, interaction, okay? 
an in, we don't even necessarily know what an interaction means contextually. It's a word that gets overloaded, you know? An interaction happens when a user does an action that needs to be notified. Okay, great. So I already have this in the back of my hot head, understanding that I have to respond to this thing. Current examples are slash commands and components. Contextual, within Discord, what is, if I've used Discord, where inside of Discord do I see interactions? These are all really good contextual things to talk about. This is really what I want to get across. If it's hard to write the doc string without ending up with purely repetitive information, you might may not need the doc string. If there's context about how something is used that is hard to communicate, write a doc string.